All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, we are here live at the Ambush Game. So get a shot of us all doing our fun stuff here, Greg. We got our camera guy doing a great job. You know, uh, my kind of fun here at the Cowboy Judge Show. We get to talk to a lot of fun people yes. in the community and some leaders and do some fun stuff with some cool enterprises like the Ambush. Pretty neat. And uh, we got a great guest with us here joining us, sponsor of the team. Dennis Fry, CPAs for Hire. Tell us why you love being part of what the ambush got going on. Be as close as you can to that microphone. Yeah, it's loud out here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's pretty kidding. loud in here. Proud your rockets. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Uh, wow, something big went on behind us yeah, here. Yeah, somebody's <laughs> door. It looks like, I mean, that's part of the fun, you know? Yeah, it's, no, it totally is. is. Go! <laughs> well, I know my buddy Fred Bird's out there having fun. Well, yeah, the mascots out there right that's now. Right. Yeah, that's right. That just start? That just it's started. We're here game. live during the mascots game. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you're a big, you're kind of a mascot of, of sorts to help make this thing fun. I yeah. see you just about every game. Tell yes. us why you love doing it. Cool. Well, there's several reasons. I, uh, I'm a soccer fan, big time, played my whole life. Okay. Uh, big Steamers fan when I was a kid and uh, had bit fond memories of going to the fa the arena down at the Checker Dome. Right. And uh, so, and then on top of that, I used to own an indoor soccer facility. Some people know that about me. I Some people don't. Know that. And uh, as part of the facility uh, ownership, we also had a PASL team. Uh, called the Duncanville Revolution, and uh, the PASL is a uh, a semi-pro version of the MASL. So, okay. um, anyway, I got brought into this, and uh, I couldn't be happier. So, soccer's kind of a passion for you? Oh, absolutely. How long have you been part of the St. Louis community doing what you do? I mean, were you born and raised in St. Louis? Born and raised, right. lived in Dallas, Texas for eight years, uh, but other we'll than that... We'll hold that against you. I, I'm born and raised here. That's where I, I had, had a my... cowboy hat. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Right. <laughs> and so, they come back here, and now you're... you're You've got a successful business. Soccer was kind of a core yes. for you as a kid. Yes. Played, what yes. level did you go to? Um, I played through high school to Smet, uh, but I didn't go back that. There we go. <laughs> soccer, soccer Mecca there. They've got always yeah. had a great program. Great, great school. Great school of the school. And do you think sports had a lot to do with your success? Is it kind of where you're, you're drawn to it? It gives you that feeling? I mean, a lot, we talk about on the show a lot about mm -hmm. how sports is a, is a key element. Yep. for helping kids and, and turn into adults, right? Yeah, yeah. And so how, does that tie in? I mean, you're obviously still doing it. It's, yeah. it's part of what you live and breathe now, being, yeah. a, being a big sponsor. At least stay as close as you can to that. Oh, yeah, yeah thank you. So we can hear you again, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm a rookie at this, so. That's all right. But, uh, no, I, I do believe the uh, the team aspect of soccer definitely helped me in my entrepreneurial uh, spirit. Um, owning the indoor soccer facility in Texas and a soccer retail store did give me that. And uh, once I got in the corporate world, um, I quickly wanted to get out to start my own thing again, and now I'm trying to create something big. So tell me, we've got the judge here, and thanks for coming on. Thank you very much. Did you bring your kids here? Any they are. Kids here? How many? What ages are they? Uh, Eleven and twelve. Okay. And they're they're soccer lovers too, just like I am, and my wife as well. And you guys are here pretty often then. Every game. Okay. If we miss a game, it's because we have something really important going on. So, and the kids look forward to it too. Oh my God, they. When we told them today that the, it wasn't snowed out, they jumped out of the couch and, and ran oh, really? and got ready. So, awesome. awesome. Yeah, yeah, so definitely tell, a big deal. I'm wondering, Mike, talk about the connection between CPAs and lawyers. Two key elements well, for, for successful the, business. It's interesting. A lot of times you'll hear uh, good attorneys, I think, will often say, you know, well, I'm not an accountant, you know, but I've seen this around before. And you'll hear CPAs say, well, I'm not a lawyer, but I've seen some of these LLCs before. They, they have a lot of interplay, yes. and they they overlap a lot. Right. Uh, but if they're both kind of in their sections of their profession, like they properly should be, uh, they work together and off of each other. But they don't. Some attorneys think they are CPAs. Some CPAs, sorry, think they're attorneys, there but they're not. Out there, they are. And, they, uh, they are. and they can get in trouble. It gets dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Either way, acting as if, right? Right, yeah. right. Okay, so. And it doesn't get competitive, and where I'm going with the competitive thing, we've got some competition going out here on the field. Greg, if you would, give us a shot. We're going to keep talking about competition, life, ambitions. Yep. And who is and, that? And why you can see a couple shots of, the, there's our mascots, you can see, out there on the field. But our, awesome. But our audio is still going and Fred live. Fred Bird made it, right? Fred Bird made it. There was some Look speculation, here. as you heard. My agent was talking to their Everybody agent, here. was talking to their people, and, and with the weather, now I wasn't sure. I know Fred Bird pretty well myself, and he yeah. didn't reach out to me today, but he does very often. And so the discussion was, what might I have to sub for Fred Bird? <laughs> and 
That would have been awesome. Given my competitive nature, and there you see Fredberg, yeah. he's out there making well, a snowman. Well, you almost got to go out And the they field. were talking to me. My my people were talking to their people, and I was going to be the sub for Fredberg today as the mascot. I'm a mascot of sorts, but I'm actually uh, what's known as a super fan. But talk a little bit about the competition that drives you. Is there competition between CPA firms? Is there competition between lawyers and CPAs? Competition makes the world go round. It does, it does. And, and quite honestly, uh, we, we focus a lot on small businesses, so we generally don't consider other CPAs competition because there's such a big market out there anyway. Um, and also, we actually work with larger firms because, because we focus on small business um, and we focus on getting the uh, accounting uh, cleaned up and up to date for our clients. We generally don't do audits and reviews. And so the bigger firms do the audits and reviews and bigger firms that do audits and reviews aren't supposed to do clean up work or bookkeeping. So it's a good fit to, uh, to, keep, to keep a, uh, a network of larger firms in our beck and call because we, we do work together. Um, so I really, I, I'm a very competitive guy, but I don't consider what I do with other CPAs, other lawyers, I mean, to be competitive. I, I love working together with others. So. Don't say anything. Well, and the competition keeps it, everybody driving and working together. Yeah. But to tru truly get the best elements produced for your clients, yeah. full disclosure, let's not play any games yeah. here and keep, it, keep yep. it open and honest. I guess sometimes there's stuff, it's not always deliberate. Sometimes yeah. people are just too busy and they forget there's too much going on. Yeah. And, the, and the key to it, I, I like that from our best. When I talk to kids and schools and colleges, and different kids and, and some adults, and say, it's all about just giving it everything you got, not giving up. Yeah. You like that, huh? What do you think I you accelerate you. most I want as a CPA? TV. I mean, you're really specializing in helping those smaller businesses, yep. right? They can't do yeah. it before to have a full time CPA. But if they don't have a CPA and they're starting a business yeah. or they're running a business, they get themselves in a lot of trouble. Right? Yeah, absolutely. So touch on that if you would. So we, yeah, we we get we get a lot of businesses where the the businesses have grown so quickly, um, and they're looking into the idea of having a CFO, and they just can't afford one because they're pretty pricey to get a full time CFO. So we offer the part time CFO services, and uh, that fills that that role for them. And we only really have to be there a couple half days a week sometimes, uh, but whatever it is. We work with the client to make sure they're getting what they need, and if they if something's presented to us that we are not experts at, I, I'm full disclosure. I say, look, I know somebody who knows about that. I'm going to bring them in and help out with this issue that you're having. So well, that ties I'm a lawyer. into my as, as so lawyers are one. I don't want to interrupt you guys too bad, but well, I wanted to ask have time over in four minutes. Yeah, and I'm a lawyer, and I love accounting talk, but I want to talk to these little guys. I want to talk about this mascot stuff. This is Colt. Absolutely. How you doing, so Colt? Colton, are you here for the mascot? You know Dennis Fry here? Uh, you know him? now, right? Why don't you guys shake yeah. hands? Yes. All right, Dennis. You like Nicole. shaking hands? This is Ginger. Hi, Ginger. How you doing? Dennis? Nice to meet you. This is wow. Cardinal Cowboy. You got a real strong grip. Give me a high five. There we go. <laughs> high five. All right. All right. So I missed you there, Ginger. So, so that's, that's what I want to talk about, Mike. So now we've got this whole theme of competitiveness, and we've got mascots out here even competing. Yeah. What is that like for all the fun you get to have well, with Well, you community? touched on... Right, that uh, you were going to do Fred Bird's job if he wasn't here, didn't you? Right, we, I might have to be the sub. Right? Oh, yeah. I say you just run out there right now. I, I, just go I think he just should go out there right now. Go, well, Speak you wouldn't on. want to <laughs> handicap their team that bad, but otherwise. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the other team would be handicapped that I was playing against. I understand. That's yes, what you meant. That's what okay. I mean. Always positive. <laughs> so, Colt, what, uh, do you see Fred Bird out there? You need to stand up and look over the top of this? or is it, It's probably dangerous, huh? <laughs> oh, they're done. Stand up. Are they done? So you they should be. Do you guys recognize any of those folks? Sending. Um, <laughs> huh? <laughs> and you can just see some of the excitement. Really. Have you watched you any of the games today? Kids love it. There it is. Silly, yeah. yeah. Who do, who's your favorite That's mascot really out there? Silly. Um. Did you see Fred Bird? Yeah. Is that your favorite one? Yeah. What about Blues Louie? Is he out there? Silly. I don't Did Louie make it? I didn't. I mean, he might be out there. I'll take a look around. The only the one I know is Fred Bird. Silly. It is pretty silly, isn't it? Is he there? It's a lot of fun, though. No, they've got Snooks. Snooks? Bushwhacker. What and about Fazoli's? 
Fazoli's, I think, is out there. I hadn't seen the whole list, but uh, there's What's the chili? yeah. a bunch of chilies. That's chilies, yeah. As a matter of fact, yeah. why, why <laughs> don't you guys... Who would have thought? Yeah, who would have thought, right? You guys keep talking. I'm going to turn on my wireless. You're going to go visit them? And I'm going to go drink, grab some of those guys and bring them over here. Yeah, oh, do it. Let's you guys want to meet some of them in person? Yeah. All awesome. right. Awesome. All right, let's get them out Guys, we're going to meet I want to meet them. <laughs> you do? I don't think they're allowed to talk, though. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, I don't think the talk got to be voiceless. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, whoa, we got to give them their... Can I go out right here? Yeah, high fives and thumbs up. Look, Louie right there. That is a bunch of... Oh, that's a terrible... Louie, where? Well. See ya. Get up there. Get up. All right, guys. I'm running out here. We're going to grab some fun. I'm going to grab a couple of the... As we run. Hello. Good luck, guys. Good luck. Yeah. What are they doing? I'm watching that. What are they, what are they doing over there, though? I'm watching that. I'm, What's that? Um, the soccer game. Oh, here comes one of them right here. You grabbed one, huh? I don't know if that's him or her. He's walking on Wanna get him over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you coming over here? <laughs> yeah, come on over here. How you doing? Right. Hey, can you hold one of them in your lap? <laughs> you wanna get in this lap? No. Oh, no. You wanna get in this lap? You wanna get in this lap? No. Are you alright? I'll pick you up and I'll hand you over. Louis, did you have fun here today? What about Fredford? Is he your friend? Is you, have you been here before? All right, it's a pretty good time, huh? Did your team win? Oh, oh no! <laughs> hey, the Blues are doing real good, though, aren't they? You're there cheering all the time. I speak Louie. Oh, so do you? If you need help, I need speak What's uh, Who won the game he was in? It? Well, he, his team lost, but he had three goals. All three, three of the goals were from Louie. You and I saw uh, one that's a footage from last year. You scored a couple yeah, goals, too. Yeah, Hello. Oh my like gosh. Patrick. How'd you get so good at soccer? It's Hello. so much like hockey. Yeah, that's got to be one of the reasons. Uh, that's what it is. He likes that person a lot. That's right. How'd Fredbird do? Were you on the same team? Or? Uh, Fredbird was in goal for his team, but Fredbird got scored on four times. Oh no. That's yeah. not, so it was just a four to three game? It was a four to three game, so it was a very tight Very game. close. What, uh, do you have a lot of fun? Do you see a lot of kids when you're here, Louie? And that's probably your favorite part, right? Oh, okay. Give a little knock to him. Hey, do you guys have a question for Louie that you might want to ask him? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, that's so nice. You awesome. <laughs> have a question for Louie? Um, no questions? No, I don't think so. I wonder what people ask Louie the most. You probably know Voice of Louie. I do. I mean, people always ask him to show up his dance moves. Oh, yeah. Dance. I'd like to see him. I'd like to see him. Well. Okay, all right. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Round and round. Oh, I know that head. one well. Nice. <laughs> There's some kids over there. I don't want to see it's him. work. Take a look at those little guys. I do think he's a favorite, but I got to take him out. All right. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Nice Have a good one. Bye, Louie. Bye, Louie. Oh, that's awesome. Thank I wonder you. if. I'm wondering if Cardinal Cowboy, he's coming back. He got lost. Yeah, he must have hit the beer stand. I think he's like, you know, oh my God, the game's going on behind yes, us. it is. Ah. Oh, there he is. Yeah, here he comes. He's coming. Well, he's got a couple more. Coming. Turn my mic back on. Here we go. Did you get one? Okay, good. Come on over, guys. Let's get you. Excuse us. Here we go. In the middle, and I'll let you put on my lap. And so, wait a minute, I should have told you to go that way, I'm sorry, go right around, go around, go around the, I'm sorry, right there guys, you gotta get, get intro that way. Come staying over here or whatever, how you doing? Nice to see you. So, you guys don't talk that much, huh? So, the key to these kind of interviews, and I have interviewed a few mascots in my day, is to ask lots of yes, no questions. So look who it is, we got Fredbird in the house! Get it up. What's going on? Right. We just saw your buddy Louie. <laughs> he was just here. He was dancing. He said you uh, let some goals go by. <laughs> you like four? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you scored one of them? All right, Fredbird. So what was the most fun? Don't, t don't answer this. I'm going to make it a yes-no question for you. Did you have fun today? 
Of course. Yes, yes, you did. I, <laughs> what? Did you score today? No. Did you have a couple assists? I think you could. I, I think that's what I saw. You, I'm giving you an assist right now. You had one. Okay, good work. All right. So, Fred Burr, you love helping out here in the community, doing fun things. Is the Ambush one of your most exciting teams to work with? Oh, oh. yes. Yes, yes. Second only to the Cardinals, right? There we go. All right. Hey, I think this guy, he wants you to put his head in your head, in your beak. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Fred Bird. <laughs> How else is a Fred Bird supposed to get nu nu nourishment, right? Nutrition. We appreciate it, Fred Bird. You are, there's a legend himself. Giddy up, Fred Bird. Thank you for coming. Come back around in a minute. All right. Talk, talk to us, Mike. Who do you have sitting next to you, to you right there? We got the whole crowd here. Captain Simonac. What is it? I can't got it wrong, don't I? So yeah, tell us. This is Sky Mania. And this is from. Did you get a goal? No. The goal? Sky Zone, right? Oh, this no. is the Sky Zone. If you guys have ever heard of the Sky oh, Zone, I'm Sky Chesterfield. Zone. A lot of entertainment fun here. If you want to get some activity and create a little bit of uh, excitement awesome. and uh, burn off some calories. Sky Zone will have some fun with you over there. So give it up to the Sky Zone. Sky Zone, did you score a goal today? No, I asked. You scored by right. by being here, though. Yes. Oh, this is a big score. This really. is a big score. Hundred percent. As being part of what we've got going on. But we're good, this Billiken good over here. We've uh, he's coming. All right, who's up. up next? Let's put the Billiken up here real quick. You uh, you guys are doing pretty good right now, aren't you? What's it like being the Billiken? Oh, yeah, all kinds of excitement. Now, I've known the Billikens for a long time. That is my alma mater. Is it? That's right. I, I went to undergrad. At, yes, absolutely. And everybody always asks, what a Billiken? Is it fun being the Billiken? It's so much fun. There you go. And what's the, what's the most exciting thing? Is it basketball, soccer, yeah. baseball, or all of the above? All of the above because SLU has great programs in all those sports. <laughs> <laughs> but basketball is probably, you're there, that's the one you do the most, isn't it? Yeah, it seems like it. Yeah, that's where I see you all the time. All well, right, the yes, basketball yeah. team's done a couple exciting things the last few years. Made it to the, the, the big tourney a couple times. Yes. And they've got a good squad this year. A new got a coach game Wednesday been around night. for a couple years now. Got a game and Wednesday night that's coming Wednesday down at the, the arena or whatever, right? And what's it, do you like being in their new facility? The new... It's it's pretty it's pretty nice, isn't it? I, they did not have that facility when I went there. They had to play at the Keel Center, which was all right. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was not bad. But now they've got their own facility that's really nice and been sponsored for and somebody who did really well. That's what it's really about, isn't it? Those who come back, they they attribute some of their success to the college that they they went to and then donate back to help that school. And Billiken, you do an awesome job of you helping really make do. the community and highlight we'll what's see, going on there. We'll see you Wednesday night. Have a good one. Thank you, Billiken. Good work. It's the St. Louis U Billiken we had on. So, I mean, talk about a fun I'm going to let you get down there. What would you think about all those guys? Let's see what this guy's got to say. Anything fun? About Who's your favorite one? Say it loud. Uh, I don't know. Did you like them all the same? Yeah. What about when he put his mouth on your head? Was that okay? Uh, you weren't afraid, were you? I wasn't. You were okay? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to let you go back to your parents. Is that all right? Yeah. All right, Colt, thank you for coming with this wave to the camera. Say, I'm so happy I was here. Bye. I'm so happy I was here. All right, we'll see you. Thank you, Thanks, Colt. Mom and Dad. Thanks to Mom and Dad for letting the kids come out. Was this fun for the kids, you think? Hey, how about Mom? Come over here and talk with us for a little bit. <laughs> so what's it like being a mom with, is there three kids? My little friend's got to come with me. Yeah, that's better. Ah, there you that's, go. This is so the you've youngest. got three little ones. Here. Yes. And so tell us. Are these kinds of? Oh, let me introduce weapon. them, cowboy. The uh, Maggie Green, is that right? Okay. Yes. And then Ryder, Ryder Carter. Ryder Carter. Is that right. Ryder. And uh, you Not guys got here a little bit ago, just in time for the mascot game, right? Yes, we did. <laughs> and Absolutely. Was it so, uh, so no, it there's a bad. connection here. I want to make that clear. You and I guys know each other a little bit. Is that yes. It? Yeah. Right. yeah. My so, brother. This is Uncle. Uncle yes. Mike. This Carter. is Uncle Mike. Okay. Very good. Yes. So is Uncle Mike Carter a good uncle? Is Uncle Mike yeah. a good uncle? I think that's a yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, but, he, but he's been put on the spot right now. Three little ones. Do they have fun at these events? They do. They love it. It's it's a great thing to get out of the house. And, you know, it's been so cold and yucky lately to be able to come out and do something fun like this and meet all those mascots. I mean, that's like a dream come true for any kid. Isn't that neat? 
Dennis, what is your what, what's your impact? How does this make you feel as a sponsor and being part of all this? Oh, I love it. I mean, seeing these little kids. I mean, having kids of my own. I mean, it's it's really what it's about. I mean, bringing back those memories that, that I had as a kid and letting them see it again here. I love it. Sports, athletics, mascots, competition, good old fashioned fun. Yeah. You guys got some food from the. Uh, yeah. What do you call that? The concession. Uh, no, we didn't have the opportunity. Oh, okay. I was yeah. wondering, I guess it's affordable compared to, you know, being all the way downtown or something, a dollar a hot dog it's instead too, of seven yeah, bucks. Do, or... I mean, so one of the best values you'll see out there, and we, we're connected with all the organizations out there. Cardinals doing an incredible job. Blue's doing an incredible job. The Rascals have got a lot of fun oh, going man. on out here. Mike's got some great connections there. We're going to do some work with them also. But this experience here at the Ambush. How cool is this, right? And the family arena. And right. Just everything coming here is just like an event. You've probably been to some of the carnivals here, circuses and that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah, the circus last just, year. The family arena just in general all the time seems to be hopping. And they just switched. I don't know if anybody knows, but uh, it's a Ticketmaster. They were on Metro or something. And now that they're on Ticketmaster, that means that I think the book of talent is open. Like, just crazy okay. different than it was just last year. Family Arena is really taking off, I think. Yeah, well, Family Arena, if you think about proximity to a large population, about 600 to 800,000 people within the area here, and then it's very close. I, I was always talking about how I lived in Fenton when I grew up and had my house. Oh. And, and uh, watch out, there's some live action right behind you. <laughs> it's a delayed response. I think the glass will protect us. But but um, literally 20 minutes from Fenton to get here, 20, 25 minutes, maybe less. Um, and another great thing, the pricing we talked about. What a value you get out of this. Yeah, and it has some seats. The, the Milwaukee Wave is a great squad. The Ambush are, are, are competing with them a little bit right now to stay on top and uh, be be on you know make the playoffs. And so then here we are, and you get to come to a game and spend three dollars for a, a soda instead of you know some other prices that go a little bit higher. You think it makes an impact in helping your kids develop to see these kinds of things and be part of it? Oh, just definitely. kind of grow interest. I mean. Uh, I see a lot of stuff, especially with the Cardinals. Well, it's time Obviously. away from the screens, right? Oh, yeah. for sure. Anything that's to get them away from the screens. I mean, that's what we did. You mean these things? Yeah. Hold on, I'll be right back. The tablets, yeah. Let me check my Yeah, tablets. we do our best to keep those under control, but definitely if we can get out and watch anything live, we're going to do it, you know, because definitely. I mean, we do struggle when we do allow tablet time or yeah, you want to hold let them play with our phone or whatever, which we don't do here we often. But when we do, we know it's it's a struggle to get them off of them. They want nothing to right, do unless it dies. Is. They're like, I'm going to stay on this thing all day long. Yeah. But to come out and do something like this, they'll talk about this for a week. They'll, my older two will go to school tomorrow and tell all their friends, oh, I got to meet Fred Bird, and I got to do this, and I got to, you know. It's just so much more fun for them than sitting on being a couch potato. Well, okay, so and you also, they see people doing physical things, moving and walking, traversing the mm -hmm. field. Maybe they play soccer. Maybe they get out and be a human instead of having your first boyfriend on an iPhone for five months, you know? Mommy, you actually press the flesh a little. That's yeah, a they judge gamer. the uh, quality of a judge by the size of his gamble. <laughs> right. Did you get that from what I was saying earlier? Did you have that already? I probably. It's, it's, <laughs> it's relative. It's I really obvious, I guess. But, but I, I would say, maybe you get to interact with some fun stuff like this, and you say, I do want to be, what's this judge guy doing? These cool models. You get to see all kinds of people, you get to interact with all kinds of different environments. It may not be the person you're sitting next to at the game is a professional, former professional athlete. It's a painter. It's a business right, owner. Right, right. And, and you start out conversations and create relationships. And I talk oh, about it. Man. I talk about it to the people I work with. I need to be at every Cardinal game. I need to be at every activity. Because that's where you really get to interact and meet people. It can get hard, yeah. especially with three of them. And I'm bored or I don't want to play with this anymore. And we have a house full of toys and they want nothing to do with them. So to get him out of the house helps a lot. So we only got a couple minutes left here. Dennis, chime in here a little bit. Sure. Kids? Yes. I know you've got a couple. Yep. What's 11 it? and 12. 11 yep. and 12. And so they've got, do you enjoy these kinds of activities? How often do they come to you, with you to the games? Every game. Every game? Every game. We actually, the, our family operates maybe like yours <laughs> too, but we do everything together. We do family date nights. We do, you know, we do a lot together. We go out to dinner together. We, you guys we go, go to, to games the together. Hughes we have we have gone to uh, one or two of those games. They, those were a lot of fun. I know those are cheaper than Bush Stadium. The hot oh, dogs a dollar fifty, a beer three bucks yeah. instead of it's definitely you know, a lot of fun. Right front tire of your car. I mean, it's pretty uh, <laughs> yeah. affordable. I think yeah. and here close by. You know? I think that's the Stampede now. We did an interview with them a couple uh, weeks ago. The new Stampede they put their schedule out. It starts in April. Right? Yeah. That'll Home be fun. Game. That'll, That'll be fun. Sponsor them as well. I don't know. I mean, soccer is really what I'm sponsoring because yeah. I'm passionate about the sport. But yeah, maybe I ought to. 
check out some yeah, of I'm not things, trying to you know? spend your money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> money I burn mine, but the, uh, the, uh, I think all the things that are going on here, we have a, not a duty, but it, you, know, you live in St. Charles County, or you're here, and I live here in St. Charles County, you live in, and you live in St. Charles County. It's just great to, we love all the rest of St. Louis, there's no doubt, but I like focusing on what's happening here, how often we can do things here, yes. how we get to bump into our sister and brethren around town. I'm the judge out in Winsville. I see people on the wrong side of the bench sometimes on a regular basis. I like to see them outside of that. And I think that this here is a stomping ground and a place for us all as a community to, to interact and have things to do. It's, it's awesome. I yeah. think it's good. You know, And I'm so happy that you you are really making it happen. You know, Sponsoring the ambush allows them to play here, stay on the field, yeah. give us those things that I'm talking about doing. Yeah. You know, It's easy to people say, oh, you got money, chalk it up to an expense. It's not. You have to pick and choose oh, as yeah. a businesswoman or man. If I spend a dollar, I kind of want two dollars back, right? And so, or if you have a passion for soccer, like you intimated earlier, maybe you just want to see it go. You know, I work at Car Shield, and they love hockey. We have Car Shield yeah. AAA, Double A, all that. So it's just we should be owe you a big amount of thanks keeping the Amherst here, giving us something to be able to do as a community. We're yeah. very thankful. We'll definitely thank the ownership too. They're they're dedicated 100% to this. Hey, right. okay, Dennis, you're here all the time, you said. And Cardinal Cowboy, you're here like every game. How do people take Cardinal Cowboy? He's not really their mascot, but he always heats up in a couple sections. Yeah. And that, I, think, I think he does great. I love seeing him. I see him more and more now. I've known you for quite a while. And sure. uh, I see him around town and stuff. And well, a minute ago, I, we I mean, to grab he's that. becoming a normal fixture in a lot of places that I know. It's so, everywhere we go, we know somebody. I love always it. positive reception. Yeah. Earlier you ran out and grabbed the mascots like you own the place. I guess <laughs> nobody's going to get mad about it, but you really do an awesome amount of stuff here in the community. Oh, yes, too. That's, that's really appreciate Well, and I think that's what it's all about. Most people know my story, how I survived. A lot of people, a lot of people don't, obviously. But I, I really feel like it, it does take a community of people that, with all the support that comes from that to make it happen. I don't think anybody should ever be allowed to slack. I don't think anybody should be allowed to not contribute. I don't think anybody should be able to take things and not give back. But at the same time, if we all work together, there's a caveat, there's a specialty, there's something somebody really enjoys doing that they can help now do, that otherwise may not be available if these kinds of things weren't out in the community to do that. So you've got room for the Grizzlies, the, 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 the Rascals, the Ambush, the Blues, the Cardinals, and they all fill different needs. I mean, it's hard to beat, I have to say, it's hard to beat a game six in, in the World Series. Yeah. And, and David Freeze in the walk-off home run. Oh, that's awesome. the, the euphoria that comes from that, there's nothing like it. You won't see things like that. But you get a very relative stimulation and excitement from being part of the activities you get here. And I think that's what, what, what that's so essential to making life matter. And being, being part of life to, is having those experiences. And kids remember those things when they're kids and they go, I remember when Slobo Ilyeski made that save Absolutely. that made the difference in the I end in the stadium. Do you remember that? Oh, my God. So, those are I, things I remember. I would love to continue here. Why don't we end this segment right now? We'll do our little close, okay. and then we can continue to record additional footage for other things that we want yeah, to do. Yeah, or we can just do the live feed. You're not going to turn the live feed off, probably. Yeah, the live feed's going to continue going. We've got it streaming the whole time. Okay. All right, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, this has been the Cowboy Judge Show. Thank you again, Judge, for helping Thank make all this you, happen. Thank you, Cowboy. This has been, like, I don't know, six times better than I thought it would. I mean, I knew we were going to have fun. But uh, given what I imagined and what happened, and the kids here and the mascots coming over to us, I had no clue they were going to come. I thought we had to go chase them down. They were going to play out there. Well, I, you got to go, go right there, and I ran up to them. I've been through that back when I played for the Monsters. I knew where the tunnels go. I was the right. Kicker, yeah, you the got kicker. it. <laughs> wow. And, uh, give, me in the, give me a wound with those rings. Go. Holy cow. There you go. These are, <laughs> these are the World Series rings. These are not fake, 100% real Cupid Zirconia. Oh, so, good. <laughs> so, so we appreciate you guys. Thank you Dennis, very much. Thanks for coming on here. Thank you. Thank you. thank you. Thank you for being a guest and taking care of your kids. Thank you. Again, thank you, Judge. <laughs> thank you, Judge. Ladies and gentlemen, more excitement right. here at the Cowboy right. Judge Show. Stay tuned to all the fun we've got going on within the community. Giddy up.